question is from Pure Warrior 247 What's the difference between grass-fed meat and wild game meat? Nothing. Well, <laughs> thanks. Well, I mean, on. Well, I mean, I mean there's, a, there's, a, there's a lot different. There's a there's a big difference between grass fed and grain or wild and grain, but grass fed and wild is pretty much the same thing. Well, here's the mm. reason why it's different. Uh, they move a lot because well, grass fed meat that you buy that you like, you know, like for example, you butcher box delivers to your door. It's grass fed beef. There isn't wild. Is there wild cows? That you can get? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what That's saying? what I'm they saying. They get eaten by wolves. I would think. You imagine a cow in wild the wild? Cows. They're terrible. What a terrible yeah, animal! Name, name yeah. a single. Name one animal that you could buy grass fed, or you could buy wild pig. Yeah, yeah, but I'm okay, fi- that's a good point. Yeah. yeah, did you guys know if you take but it turns into a, a hairy hog? It does. Did you know that? Yeah. Did you know if you took a, a and a they're domestic- crazy right now in Texas. You guys know this? You can actually like fly a helicopter and shoot them with assault rifles. And, and, and you it's can legal. Do, you can also do it out of a, a, like a good time. hot air balloon. <laughs> they let you do it out of a hot air balloon now. Is this all yeah. real? The true story. Yeah, dude. Because they have so many feral hogs. So why haven't we done this? What do you mean? I don't why know. It sounds like an adventure to me. Why have you- haven't we done this? Yeah. Would you not well, want to do that? Have you ever gone hunting? I, have, I think we start, but there. not like with a like a semi-automatic gun and after yeah. pigs. I mean, it's a little that sounds a lot of it's fun. a little crazy, but uh, we maybe we fun. start yeah. with the rats first. Yeah, start with the rats. Start with your start automatic. Start small. Get we'll get the yeah. We'll anyway, work our way up. So, no, um, yeah. If you take a if you take a domestic pig and you put it out in the wild, it turns feral. Like the switch turns on and right. it actually becomes a crazy fucking uh, like a like a boar almost. Okay, right. so besides Gross tusks and all that. Yeah. So besides the hog. What else animal would could be grass fed or wild? Oh, that we eat both. Yeah, that we eat both. We no, don't really. I, it's, no. it's it's normally you're normally comparing grass fed to grain or wild yeah. to grain, right? Yeah. So yeah. here's the thing with wild game meat. Um, why and, and I guess bison would be the closest to uh, beef, right? Bison is is wild. Yeah. And that would be, um, uh, you know, that'd be about as close as you can get to uh, to cow, at least. In fact, if you eat bison, it almost tastes uh, the same. But wild meat um, is just got uh, a, a healthier fatty acid profile. It's more nutrient dense. Flavor flavor wise, if you guys you guys have heard the term something taste gamey. Yeah. yeah. There's a flavor that natural. Um, I'm using the word natural, but I think you guys know what I'm talking about. There's there's a flavor that natural wild meat has um, that domesticated grain fed meat. Uh, doesn't have. Oh, there's a there's a clear distinction between grain and wild or grain and grass. But I, I and maybe there is uh again, I I don't have an example of a meat that I've had that is I've had wild and I've also had only grass fed. Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think grass fed has yep. that that it has a different taste in comparison to grain fed meat. It's I mean, a little bit it's like um it's in between it's not straight it's not gamey yeah. like you're eating venison. It's but it's not a purely like the grain fed like beef. Right. It's it, it's just a, a hint of the gaminess. Yeah, like venison and elk, like I've had that before and I like the taste of it's definitely way different than than like a, any kind of a livestock animal. Mm-hmm. It's got a little bit of that game a tiny bit of that game. Well, you have to right? explain for people just so they understand because this was like I remember um, the first time I fully understood this, and it's, I didn't. This was until maybe six years ago, maybe five, six years ago, when I started looking for more grass fed. Is I didn't understand uh, what that meant that it changed the fatty acid profile and mm-hmm. why that was important to you. Because when you talk about somebody who is uh, trying not to, uh, you know, is fighting inflammation or you're trying to get uh, healthier fats in your diet. Uh, it's kind of canceled out when you go and you get like grain fed beef. A little bit. Like if you if you do if you eat meat every once in a great while, it's not gonna make a difference. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If you eat like if you eat one steak or burger patty or whatever once a week or less, um, it's probably not gonna make that huge of a difference. Now, there's an argument that says that you will see a difference over time. So let's say you eat red meat once a week, but you do it for twenty years or thirty years. Then yeah, there may be this kind of cumulative effect, but especially if you eat a lot of meat. Like if you're like me, I eat red meat five to seven days a week, at least five to seven days a week. Um, some week I go for weeks on end well, or seven days a week. And natural meats or, or wild or grass fed meat, it has to. It, it's supposed to have a balanced fatty acid profile it, of six, three, and nine. It's got a better. Much better, much more balanced uh, fatty acid uh, profile, and it makes a difference when. It makes a big difference when you're consuming a lot of it. It's higher in 
CLA. CLA is a fatty acid that, I mean, bodybuilders have supplemented with CLA for like two decades. CLA is what they would refer to as the fat, uh, burning fat. And they find that diets that are higher in it when the calories are equal, uh, that they tend to be leaner and have more muscle. So this is why bodybuilders will supplement. It doesn't work that way though. You don't just add CLA to your diet and get the effects. You have to replace other fatty acids with it. Well, I, I told you, I remember reading an article a few years back that uh, the uh, they actually compete with each other in the cell. So yeah. if, you know, and I'll just use round numbers for the average person to kind of get this concept that if your cell could only hold a uh, 100 um, fatty acid profiles in it, right? And you they, they're they made up of six, three, and nine are getting in there. and You can't just throw more of something else on it. Right. right, and, right. And, and actually, six and nine uh, will outdo or, or outperform the three. So if you're getting, an, like, if you're getting 75 and 75, you'll get all 75 of the six and nine, and then you'll just only get, get 15 or whatever. Right, right. Yeah, 25, yeah, 25. Of, 25 of the three. <laughs> I failed math. Yeah. That was bad. So I, I, that's, I know that's not the, uh, I, I know that's not the most yeah, it's much sci- more complex sci- than yeah, that. scientific way to explain it, but for the average listener to to get an idea of the importance of that and we know how important omega threes are and that is something that we're always trying to search for or most people and almost the uh, almost everybody gets recommended that supplement it's right? just it's high- rare that people are getting enough omega three yeah. in their diet and so when you're eating a meat that mm-hmm. should already naturally have it in that. Yeah, that would be great. Except for if you're always eating meat that is grain fed all the time, you're actually it's the profiles change. It's higher on the six and nines, lower on the threes. So you're getting an abundance of the six and nines, which are not ideal, and you're getting less of the threes, which is more ideal. Balance is ideal. It's too much of one, not enough of another is is not um, a good idea, especially when it's when you're talking about um, six and nines. And some people. There are uh, segments of the population that are very sensitive to this. So if they eat a lot of red meat that's gra- that's grain fed, they'll see that their lipid profiles go crazy. And this is why when they reduce their red meat consumption, their lipid profiles look better. I would surmise that a lot of these people, rather than having to eliminate red meat, switch to grass fed. Switch to grass fed. And I've seen this in clients before. Have you? Yes. Yeah. And yeah. they'll get a better uh, yes. fatty acid. Pro- they'll get a better lipid profile. Same thing profile. for people that feel like, you know, uh, inflammation or they feel bloated from eat, eating meat a lot of times and I find out that they're eating all grain fed meat and then have them try grass fed mm. you know or switch over to like a bison or something I notice a big difference that's my that's for me so if I eat uh, a lot of uh, of grain fed beef let's say I'm trying to gain size and so I'm adding a lot of meat into my diet because of the calories and all that stuff I do notice an increase in inflammation when it's grass fed I don't. This is my own personal experience. And that inflammation contributes to worse gut health for me at least. So I digest grass-fed meat better when I'm eating high quantities. They're also higher in key micronutrients. Now again, it's not this dramatic massive difference, but it's enough of a difference to where, again, if you consume a lot of red meat, if you consume it all the time, it will it will definitely make a difference for you to consume that meat as a high quality grass fed. Yeah, I assume that like even just having the chickens graze around my property and everything, and in terms of like uh, the color and 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 what the yolk looks like and and how rich it, it feels like uh, the micronutrients are in, in comparison to something that was store bought. Uh, to me, it just, I mean, there's little things like that, that if you start to kind of like put two and two together with like an animal that's out there, like working for their food and getting it from like so many varied sources, like how much more diverse that would be nutrient wise. Yeah. Now eating, always eating wild game meat is probably for everybody's probably not possible. Well, yeah. It's not realistic because there's too many people and, and we would make animals instinct. Yeah. We just, can't all like, yeah, <laughs> if we wanted to move in that direction, that wouldn't work out very well. No, for us. we just have too many people. But factory farming with the feeding these animals grain all the time is not awesome. It's no. it's like you're you're it's like the, the processed virgin version of beef. Like these animals are cramped, they're standing in their own poop, they're just yeah. eating grain. And when you have a, an unhealthy animal, the meat is just not it's not as healthy. So it makes sense that you're not going to be as healthy eating that kind of meat. Yeah. Grass fed now, don't get me wrong. You could probably construct a factory farming model that looks identical to the grain-fed model and throw grass at these animals. But oftentimes, the way that they feed these cows is they roam, they eat foods that's more natural to their body. Right, right. Yeah. Um, and, the, and so it's, it's also more humane. It's also better 
um, for the environment. And they're good for the environment. They produce own ecology. They produce less uh, methane when they eat grass versus when they eat. Uh, I think that's the gas that the cows produce. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That, 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 then when they produce uh, when they eat grain. So it's like if you eat a, a ter- particular type of food that makes you gassy. Mm-hmm. Grain-fed beef is more gassy, so they produce more of those, the, the, you know, those byproducts. Um, it's also better for the environment in terms of the ecology and the way that they're, you know, they have to take care of the the, the land so that it's producing quality grass that the animals can eat. It's just better all the way around, and it is more expensive if you go to the store, uh, you know. But you know, we live in a, a pretty wealthy society. And I don't know of a better place to invest money than in your health. I really don't. You're gonna. You're, there's almost nothing you'll get better return on. It's really not that more expensive when you go through someone like Butcher Box. That's, that's one of the, true. That's one of the reasons why. And I know you referenced them. That I, I think it's amazing uh, what they do because when you look at what you're getting by having it shipped to your house, and I know that grass fed is typically more expensive. It's really not that more expensive than me going down to the butcher and actually getting the meat. Oh there, yeah. So. Well, I mean, we'll probably cover this in more detail down the road. But like the, how they got started was what I basically was doing with with my wife. We would go in on a cow together with a couple families right. and and buy, you know, straight from the source or like from a 4-H uh, you know, group that they they like raised it all humanely and went through that whole process and it was great. Especially mm-hmm. when you guys factor in the things that they always do. Did you see what they're doing this month? What they're giving away? Uh, no. You know how every month they always have some cool like special for someone who gets on their subscription base? Right. This, this month is a turkey, dude. A whole oh, turkey, yeah, I right? It's a whole that. turkey, right? I'm Doug? so doing this. Yeah, yeah, ten to fourteen pound turkey, free. Yeah, free for with your when when you sign up with them. Yes. Oh well, Thanksgiving's Dude. coming up. That makes yeah. sense. No, Perfect. I know. Isn't that cool? Wow, that's a great. Yeah, that's a, if you if you factor in all the free shit that they give away every month, um, you're you're actually saving money. Yeah. Uh, with someone like them. 